Hey guys, welcome to the channel and in this video I will be explaining you the concept for minimum number of jumps to each the end of an array. So in the previous video I have explained you with the help of the dynamic programming in which the time complexity goes to O of n square and space complexity goes to O of n. So uh, in this video I will be explaining you the best method to do that minimum jumps which costs you O of n time and constant space. So now let's first understand the concept and after that I will show you the code for the same. <laughs> Suppose if we have given this array of integers, our task is to reach from this starting location to this ending location of an array. And the integers in this array represent the jumps which we can take from the current index. Okay, So this three indicate that we can take jump from this location to this location, this location and this location. After that we can't jump from 0th index. <clears throat> Likewise we indicate that we can jump here, here, here and here and so on. Okay, So that's this integer which it represent. Now without use of dynamic programming how we can solve this question in constant space let's look at that first. Okay, For that what we are doing we are maintaining th two variables. <coughs> first one is max switch which keep track of from the current location up to what location we can move to. Like if current reaches 3 then we can move to this location. Okay, And this is initialized to the first value of the array that is 3. And steps is also one variable which we have took which is initialized to the first value of an array. So this shows that how many steps are left with us. and jumps is the variable which keep track of our final solution that is minimum number of jumps okay okay so we are starting from this location first index not from here we are starting from this location this is our ith index and what we are checking is first thing we need to do is we need to decrement this step because now we have left with two steps as we took this step and we have to update this max switch. So this max switch is updated with maximum of the current max switch and i plus the value present at that particular location array of i. <coughs> okay. So max switch is updated with either max of 3 or 3 either max of 3 or 1 plus 4 which is 5. So max switch is updated with 5 because when we are here the maximum index which we can each is index 5. This is that only. And in the next situation, i is incremented to 1. <coughs> in this case, we again decrement our steps with 1 and update our max switch with maximum of 5 or 2 plus 2 which is 4. So it's 5 only. Okay. And increment our i to the next location. Now the steps is decremented by 1, it which is 0 and we update our max switch with 5 only because 5 is maximum of 4 and 5 and we do one condition check inside the for loop also which is if steps which is 0 that means we are not left with any of the steps now so we have to increment our jumps we have taken one jump and our steps is updated with max switch minus i. Why this is happening? See, <coughs> our max switch is 5 and we are currently at this location 3. So we need to, we are left with two steps. Okay, so we are left with two steps that is max switch is 5 and we are currently at th third index. So our max uh, steps we are left with is 2. So we have update our steps with 2. So this is updated with 2. Now max switch is 5 and steps we are left with is 2. <coughs> After that we increment our i to the next location. Okay. And in this case the max switch is updated with maximum of 5 or plus 2 which is 6. So it is 6 only. And we are incrementing our i till this location only we are not going here okay so i moves from 1 to n minus 2 
okay so this is the range of the i <coughs> and once it uh, once this loop is executed or completed what we are doing we are returning answer as jumps plus 1 because the first jump which we have took we are not considered in this jump variable so this jump is 1 and we are returning jump plus 1 which is true so how this answer came <coughs> let's see that we jump from this 0th location to this 4th that is 1 jump and after that from this first index we can take a jump of 4 and jump to this 5th location which is again one more jumps therefore overall we require two jumps okay now one question arises in your mind is when step reaches zero why we are updating this step with max reach minus i so i will explain this briefly in code okay i will explain this briefly in code till then uh, let's see the code and first analyze the time and space complexity for the same see we are just updating this variable max reach and steps and jumps which will take constant time and effectively we are iterating our i i2 starting location to the end location which is taking o of n time so effective time complexity in this case is o of n and a space complexity is constant because uh, we are not taking any extra uh, space we are just taking this constant space so now let's look at the code for it we have given an array in this which is array of integers okay and what our task is our task is to find the minimum number of jumps required okay we are calling this function min jumps best method because this is the best method for implement this without using dynamic programming now in this what we have first we have checking the base condition these are the base condition check that means if we have either zero element or one element in this case we have to return zero because we require zero jump when we have to go from first location to first location only and we are checking that if the first element is zero only then we have to return minus one because if we have our elements like zero one two three and from reaching from this location to this location there's no way we can jump to any of this location because this is zero jump and we are currently here so we can't jump to any of this location so therefore in this case we return minus one that means minimum number of jumps is not possible after that we have initialized three variable as i discussed in example also that is max switch steps and the jumps and jumps contain our solution and we are iterating our i variable from the first index till n minus two index okay and for each iteration of i we are decrementing the step and we are updating our max switch so in this case we have three four two one two three so currently we are starting from here and our steps is initially three and max which is three okay and so we are updating our steps to two and our max switch to five because this is first index and we can jump to fifth index from here okay so this two steps will be called uh, again and again when we are iterating on this for loop and this is a condition check for incrementing the jump variable that means if it step switches zero that means we have to increase our jumps by one and we have to update our steps as i have mentioned in this example also when we reach here and our jumps uh, and our steps which is zero so in this case we have to update our step with max switch minus i because the maximum reach where we can land is at index 5 and currently we are at index 3 so we are left with two more steps to reach here therefore steps is updated with value 2 and after that whatever is the final answer we have to return jump plus 1 but this method is still creating one issue let me try with the help of the example suppose if we have values like 2 1 0 and 3 so in this case there is no way we can jump to this location 
because here we have zero this will go max up to here one will go max up to here and from here we have no possible way to reach to this three location okay so now let's execute this and see what's the problem is here so if we have elements like two one zero and three so in this case what we have when we compile this code and when we run it it is producing output of 2 so which is wrong so in this case output should be minus 1 because we don't have any part to go from this location to this location so for this we have to check one condition we have to check here if after updating our steps if steps is 0 only then in this case return minus 1 okay just remember this thing so when step switch is 0 or less than 0 so in this case we have to return minus 1 so now let's again compile our code and check our output so in this case we are getting output as minus 1 because we don't have any path from reaching here to here and when we analyze the time and space complexity so the time complexity in this case is o of n because effectively we are going in one loop which is taking o of n time and the space complexity is constant because we are not taking any extra space just we are taking this constant uh, max switch steps and jump variable um, which will take o of one space so this method will give us a time complexity of o of n and the space complexity is o of n therefore this method is best compared to the one which we have discussed earlier which is taking o of n square time and o of n space so hope you got this question if you have any doubt just feel free to comment and i will solve the doubts for you okay thank you